What's up, fish tank people? Dustin's fish tanks outside of Aqualand. Right here, rolling inside hey. Aqualand. There he is again. Yeah. What's up, pond people? What's up, fish tank people? I, I have to do this place justice because I come in and I like ramrod it, but it's like you roll in and it's fat pond here, dog named Buckeye drinking over here. Like just smells like, oh, there's a turtle action right there for you all. Nice painted turtle, huh? That's a great turtle right there with the sun. Look, look at them all, there's all, there's this, there's seven turtles in this thing. And we're coming in here to. Here. Give me a toy time. And these little guys in there, all this stuff. And then he's got the whole awesome uh, pond stuff going on out there. So Dustin, check this out. Yeah, bring it. What you got? Koi crunchies. No, I didn't know about this. New okay. product? Yeah, well this will help you train your koi to eat out of your hand. <laughs> but look at the turtles. They want they like koi crunchies too. Oh, hey, turtles like anything, where's yeah. Mine? That's awesome. Hold that up. <laughs> nice. We're here on a mission today, my friend though. Yeah, you got What's the mission? What we got going on? It's in my pocket. It's in my pocket. So Where are we is, headed? So this is the retail store. It's kind of the inspiration. It's the showroom. Yeah. You know, obviously we have all of our pumps and our products. We're the only manufacturer in the world that builds ponds that manufactures pond products. So everything that we manufacture, we do for things that we would want to enjoy um, ourselves. So here's like a standard ecosystem pond. Right. So right here. It's called the Tadpole. 7,500 bucks or 150 bucks a month. If you can get that in your backyard next to your patio, just like that. This one, I've actually got some, look at the cichlids I've got in there. Oh, you got the look parrotfish. That. Yeah, some parrotfish and cichlids. The parrotfish actually made my worst lives ever video because they're, I don't know, they're, they're the way they're bred. That's pretty right. funny if they got them in there. And then here's like, you get a you get a, a 10 by 14 foot pond with a seven foot stream, 9,000 bucks installed. But you know, the thing about it is, it's always gonna have crystal clear water. It's always going to be beautiful, and that's kind of the whole aquascape ecosystem philosophy. You work with Mother Nature, not against it. And you go all the way over here. You know, here's our here's our base model. Okay, this is just a standard little seven foot by nine foot pond with a waterfall right next to it, no stream. But look at how gorgeous that is. Yeah, right that's next great, to that. man. And then of course you go up all the way to the big, big Bahama Mama. Look at all these guys. This is what I got. That's what you need to add is a spillway bowl onto your pond this year. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Off my port, that would be awesome. But we need to talk about making my pond bigger anyway, so. Yeah, always. You know, and then the koi will come right up and eat out of your hands because they they, they, get, they get trained. Look at look at the ginrin on that guy. I mean, that is oh, a yeah. beautiful fish. That is a beautiful fish. I got it. But I know that you are a, a fish tank lover, so you got to I hear, I, the fish tank people, want to see them and Heiko was here Heiko did for a pandemonium in august which i was at but i had to leave early because my kid had something going on he did a uh and there's look at that stud that's when i started 12 years old he did three oh damn aquariums and i put them right here to draw people into the back area into that that's awesome dude oh man that is my sofa yeah <laughs> I sit there oh I dude i did not know Heiko had the skills with, oh, I love this out the top there. Yeah, Indian, that's an Indian one. Well, give us a tour. This is the Indian one. Obviously we have the Congo Tetras. Yeah. So wait a minute, Congo Tetras and an Indian one, India well, one. I don't know, I, it, I'm not actually sure. This is the <laughs> Indian tank, so. It's Krenum, looking great. Coming out the top here. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yep, the papyrus. That papyrus is stuff that I wish I had more of. Yeah, and he's got the Jenny, and then over here we have which one? This is the well, based on the fish, Australia or Africa? Africa, I think. Africa, because he's got the lotus. And it was oh, look at that. Is Cole here? No, nope. of course not. No, Cole's Cole's hustling at the show. Cole's running the which which is down here Indian showing tank, you this. Right? What? Where are these three tanks? So of course they're not marked. I've called them 47 times, 400 times. Okay, okay. Oh, the they're not marked. Basin. Look at that. I got you. That's the Congo. Okay. This is the Tuda River in India. That's the Congo River in Africa. Okay. So, yeah, India, Africa, and the Amazon. I love got the it. Amazon. I love the. Indian I got to get the Amazon on there. Got to give these tanks some love here. This is really cool. I love this coming out the top. 
You got lost some of these plants for me too. Yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look great. I like how they come out the top for sure. So listen, dude, I just sit here like this. This is where I, I do my stuff and I'm just like... Constantly. Surrounded. It just, I love it. And, and I think the Dwight Howard tank is gonna go right behind this one. We need to talk about the Dwight Howard tank. I'm looking forward to, what are the, what's up with the Dwight Howard tank? So he moved, and so Roger, who was uh, taking care of it down there, just picked it up, and he's and I, and I bought it from him. Nice. These are some awesome Danios. And let's move to the Amazon tank. Let's see how. Let's see his Amazon game. All right. So he's got the swords, and now Heiko is Blair. Is Blair eyes the sword? So those of you not in the know, his mom was the original founder or founder finder collector of the Amazon sword, uh, Iconodorus Blaira, or Blair Eye, or whatever. So that's, you know, named after his lineage, which is pretty awesome. We've got some neon tetras in here, and then some head tail, I believe those are. I'm rusty on my, uh, my tetras. Go from above here. Got the water hyacinth in the top. I love these tanks because they're rimless, too. That's very cool. And then he's got like the lighting. overflow. Yeah, Kessel makes nice lights, man. There's no doubt about that. Um, and then down here, got more Tetras. And I like the subduedness of the Amazon tank, how it's just kind of like, you yeah. know, there's shadows. It's, and it's totally, kinda... You know what's cool? This one is subdued, but the Indian tank is so alive with energy. Those fish are just constantly in movement. Yeah, this tank is, uh, I like this tank. I like, I like the way that it's just like, Everybody can kind of hide in it. Yeah, they've all been breeding. Every tank is to have. Uh, oh yeah. Right away because of the, that's one of the things with with Blair biotopes is that if you actually make a biotope specific aquarium that you put the same substrate, the same species of fish, the same plants, it feels like they're in nature and they will breed immediately when you put them in there, which they did. You see, there's some baby cichlids in this one right now. I just saw. It. Let me get these Daniels. He's got some rainbows in here. I gotta ask him about these fish. Yeah, see the baby. And Heiko's at AE right now, yeah? What's that? Heiko's at Aquatic Experience yes. right now. He got in last night. See the baby? It's already getting big. Oh, nice. Look at that cool catfish down there. Oh, yeah. Well, those are the Crebenzies. They breed like crazy. She's about to pop again. Look at that. The yep. giant belly on her. Yep. They breed. We, we, they were breeding within three hours of putting them in here. Really? Yeah. More monster fish tanks coming on. Tank on, everybody. So the problem with being chained to your boost fish tank, people, is that you uh, don't get to see what's going on around you. There's a whole aquascaping contest going on. I just now am getting over to it, so I apologize, but check this out. Yeah. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Oh, oh, the winner of the con Rapid Palooza contest. So I got to actually look escape. I love that curly plant. What is that? Uh, I don't know. I had a little tag for it. It's grown immersed. It doesn't look like that normally. This guy won the Aquascaping Contest in New York. No pressure, everyone around him. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, you guys aren't doing the big? You're doing, no, doing the big too. I'm about to go finish the big. Jesus. <laughs> and there's the runner up with the main. So good to see you, Kevin. What's up, baby? How we doing? Those rats in the house. How you doing, bro? These are looking sick. Back tech, what you got? Hey, what do you think? I like it a lot. Oh, I like the face too, dude. Yeah, yeah. that's hot. I love that. The, the eyes are gonna glow from behind when it's done. Dude, I love it. I love the boost too. And I'll boost it up. Boost is it. Kind of a boost. A boost. And this is the runner. This is the reigning champion. No yeah. pressure. How's it going, Dustin? John, what's up, dude? So it's almost there. Almost done. That's sick, dude. Thank you. Real good. Your your use of depth is top is second to none. Thank you. For real. Because he's got like you guys can't see it like I am, but like yeah. the way that this I'm sorry I'm just busting in your shit no, no, like this. Funny. But um yeah, like so he his tank last year had a real lot of depth and he brings the depth all the way. Like you I don't know if you can see how much depth he brings in a very small tank. So I uh I really it's not, it's not just great, dude, dude, mad props dude. That's a good looking Thank tank, you. I bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, well, uh, so, yeah, we'll check it out. Oh, that's cool. I did not know this was started today. Tyler, what's up? My man from Cali. AGA friends. 
So, JJ, how you doing, brother? Side by here. Fantastic hardscape here. What's up, guys? Hey, how are you? And these guys were winners or runners up or one year. I remember both of you. Last year. Yeah, last year. That's right. That's solid. Peak to peak is different, right? Yeah. No pressure, Tyler and Mike. <laughs> hey, guys. This is my peoples. This is great, dude. It looks really good. Bunch of little rocks. A bunch of little rocks and a bunch of roots coming off the kind of like a forest. So that's the plan. The serious stone's sick though. Got that in. Serious First time I've worked with it. Camera's out of focus. Looks great though. That's awesome. <laughs> That's looking real good. Come on. Four shots competing. Tag on. 